Hi, we're back in freezing England in our kitchen after 13 weeks traveling Southeast Asia. So we thought we'd do a summary of what we spent against the 10,000 pounds we budgeted and also just an overview of the itinerary that we followed because uh, hopefully that will help some of you guys when you're planning your own trips. And it wasn't what we were supposed to do. It changed. It did change. Through. Yeah, so we certainly <laughs> uh, adjusted as we went. <laughs> okay, so here goes. Hi there. I'm going to kick this off just with a recap of the itinerary that we followed. So we spent 13 weeks going to Cambodia, Thailand and Laos. Um, and I'll just show you now the order we went, the places we went, and then uh, at the end just show the number of nights we stayed in each. Just so uh, if you are trying to plan an itinerary, you can see what we did and make your own judgment on how that worked, either from this video or from the other ones that you've watched. Okay, so here goes for a whistle stop tour of where we went in Southeast Asia. We started off with a flight to Bangkok, and from Bangkok we got the train up to Nam Tok, where we spent a few days, and then we headed back down to Kanchanaburi for a few days again before returning to Bangkok. We then got the flight to Luang Prabang in Laos, uh, where we spent a few days, a beautiful little city. Uh, before we got a bus up to Nong Kiao, where again spent a few days just with a bit of trekking, back to Luang Prabang for one night. Before we got the train down to Van Vieng, a couple of days there exploring the lagoons. Before we then got a bus down to Vientiane, the capital, where we spent a couple of days. A couple of days in Vientiane was enough, so we then got a flight to Phnom Penh in Cambodia. And from Phnom Penh, we then headed down after a few days there to Kep Beach. We then moved across from Kep Beach to Kampot for a couple of days around the rivers and the parks before heading over to Sukhumville and over to Koh Rong San Loam, where we spent 10 days. We then headed back up to Siem Reap for another 10 days, beautiful place. Um, and then to Battambang just for a couple of days before heading back into Thailand because our visas were running out and to Jom Tien. From Jom Tien, we needed to go and meet family in Bangkok, so up there yet again, before heading back down to Ko Chang again for about 10 days, and then back to Bangkok again, <laughs> um, before heading down the other side to Wa Hin, where we'd never been before, and then on to Khu uh, to see the elephants, uh, before heading back up to Bangkok for our last couple of days, before flying home. Okay, so that was a bit of a rapid run through of uh, the overall schedule and showing where we went. But you can also see from these clips here a bit more detail about the, the order we went to places and the number of nights we spent in each, just in case you want to use that as a benchmark for planning. We're going to start with our biggest expense, which was our flights. Uh, we flew with Qatar Airlines from Heathrow uh, to Bangkok and had our stopover in Doha, which was great. We only booked a week before, so we didn't get any of these mega brilliant deals, but certainly are better than what they were are now. So we paid £550 uh, plus £125 to be flexible because I wasn't convinced we were going to be <laughs> wanting to be away for 13 weeks, but we did. So we did that one. Our next flight was Bangkok to Luang Prabang and that was £125 each. Uh, decent flight, no issues with that. And the third flight we did, which was expensive for what it was, was Ventien to Phnom Penh, which was £182 each. Uh, I think that was just expensive because it was cross-border. Uh, and it's because we didn't want to go via Bangkok. If we could have yeah. gone via Bangkok and then uh, gone into Bangkok and then come out again, then that would have been much cheaper, it would yeah. have been half the price. Yeah, but. And, and you can do it cheaper by land, but at that point we wanted to, to get to Phnom Penh and get on with uh, our trip in Cambodia. All of our flights were really good. We were in economy, because that person here won't, won't pay for anything else, but the comfort was really good. We had our seats uh, most of the time, and they were, they were really comfortable, and don't see why we would pay for extra, really. So... All good. 
Yeah, and just, just remember, uh, you've also got the cost of the visas. So uh, our next category was fees and charges, um, where we spent £539 over the, over the entire 13 weeks. Uh, a fair chunk of that was on visas. So uh, nice and easy in Thailand, visa on arrival, um, exemptions, so didn't need to do anything. But we did have to pay for the visa when we got to Luan Prabang. Uh, and we had a bit of a panic with our <laughs> with our exactly. visa when we got to Phnom Penh because you had to pay it in dollars and we hadn't managed to change money to dollars before the airport, having been assured you could get it at Ventian Airport, which you couldn't. So um, we had a bit of a worry on the flight while we were waiting to get there. But actually, there's an ATM in the, uh, in the arrivals area at Phnom Penh where you can extract dollars so as but, it turned out it was fine but we're never going anywhere without <laughs> dollars again that no. was four hours of stress that we really didn't need it and it made us have to buy margaritas so it's <laughs> so an extra cost yeah it was yeah <laughs> okay. it wasn't good it was um, a lot of money and, and also under fees and charges uh, we had travel insurance from LV here in the UK uh, that was £230 for an annual policy, so really good value, and we've heard really good things about them. Haven't needed to claim, so can't comment on that. But and, it, and it lasts 90 days. Yeah, and you, you can be can away 90 for 90 days. days, which was obviously one of the, the big requirements for us. Um, but the reviews we read of it are really good, and it's a fraction of the price of some of the other specialist long-term ones. So certainly worth a look if you're planning a long trip away. Very, uh, very good at adding bits too as well. We added um, yeah. gadget insurance and we're just about to add ski insurance for our yeah. trip away in April. So definitely worth, they respond very quickly to email. So very positive about yeah. them so far. Yeah. Uh, the other bit in there was VPN. We used Surfshark VPN, worked really well everywhere we went. Um, I could watch I could watch all the uh, UK sport wherever we were and it also worked obviously in terms of sort of the normal protection on your, your phone, your laptop, your Mac, etc. So yeah, no issues with that either and that was £43 for the year. So again, good good value for what you get. Very good. And it also includes all the SIM charges. We, we, tend, we got a SIM in each country each as we got there uh, and generally very cheap or worked really well. Uh, the first one we didn't get at the airport. We waited till we got to 7-Elevens in Thailand, but to be fair, the airport prices were pretty much the same. So the pre so in Cambodia and Laos, we just got them at the airport. So we had them straight away. Yeah. We predominantly used Agoda and Booking for our accommodation while we were away. Uh, we'd budgeted 30 pounds a night. So that's what we were trying to stick to and worked out at £28 a night, so spent two thousand, just over £2,300 for the, the time we were away. So uh, pretty close to what we expected. Uh, Agoda and Booking worked really well everywhere we were pretty much with a couple of minor exceptions. And obviously because we used them so much, we did get quite a few benefits by being... Genius like, three. Genius level three. And I can't remember what it is on Agoda, mm. platinum or something. So, But it did mean we got quite a few free breakfasts or slight upgrades uh, as we were going around and, and using them booking. And it is also worth having it having an account each and having it on both your phones because actually quite often we'd put in exactly the same criteria and it'd be cheaper on mine than Jan's or vice versa. Normally mine but was cheaper. Normally yours. I don't yeah. know what you were I doing. That why yours was cheaper. But normally only £2 or something. But, 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 it, all, it, was... but it all adds up. So, so certainly worth doing that. You got a favourite hotel from when we're away? Uh, the Ladiar in Siem Reap okay. was definitely my favourite just because the rooms were lovely, they had a nice pool, they were two so pools. friendly, they had two pools, they were so friendly when we came in and out, yeah. they were just lovely and also around the pool was really sociable which makes a huge difference and we spoke to some incredible people um, that, who made us feel slightly ridiculous for worrying about anything when they had... Riding a tandem, tandem around. Tandem yeah. around. Um, yeah. Around Thailand and mm. Cambodia. Just yeah. amazing. So, yeah, okay. really, the Ladia was really good in Siem Reap. And I think that was only £18 a night. Mm. Um, it was really good. And okay. the second one was probably the Mercure. Yeah, I mean, I love the Mercure or in Ko Chang, Mercure Hideaway. Um, it was one of the more expensive ones we stayed at, but you get what you pay for in some cases, and you certainly did there. It was on a beautiful beach. The service was just that kind of notch above. To the, to, to the extent that they were actually using pool nets to clean the muck out the sea on one day when it had been a bit stormy and yeah. there was a bit of rubbish in the sea. So just that 
extra, extra, extra little touches that, that made it really nice there. And particularly when you're just having a kind of relaxing few days by the beach, that made a real difference there. So, yeah. Your worst? Probably the worst. Lao hotels were worse in general. Um, with Van, the exception of Luan with the exception Van, of Luan, where they were yeah. both amazing. They were both excellent. But the others we had in Lao just weren't to the same standard, and particularly in Van Vieng, where maybe we were unlucky, but we had a, a couple of poor experiences due to building works and other things going on. So they may be okay by now. But when we were there, the ones we had there were, were not great at all. And to be fair, the, the truthfulness on booking.com with yeah. the pictures, the pictures didn't really match um, what you were getting. What yeah. you were getting, and we yeah. only found that in Laos. We didn't find it in Cambodia, no. um, and no. we didn't find it in Thailand, no. and we hadn't found it in Vietnam in the past either. No, so, so I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's just an up and coming. Um, yeah, and, and there was a, it would be amazing, yeah. but yeah. our was, experience wasn't. Yeah, there was a lot of work being done, but it needs to be. <laughs> yeah, saying that we did love Laos. It was a beautiful country, and. We really loved the food and the people were so helpful. So we have not got anything against Lao. We do really love it. And we will go back down south, um, maybe when the roads are a little bit better. The roads freak me out. But other than that, On a boat loved boat. it. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of restaurants and food, we had a great meal in Non Kiao there. I can't mm. remember where it is. Callum will put it at the bottom where we had yeah. the great meal in oh, Non Kiao. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but uh, we spent nine hundred and eighty-seven on rest in restaurants yeah. and food. Yeah, but if you if you added up all the all the money we spent on food, we spent about two hundred and thirty-five on non-alcoholic drinks, so smoothies, coffees, etc. During the days, uh, we spent about another just over two hundred pounds on alcoholic drinks. Uh, I'll that. <laughs> Far too as well, many. Beers. As well as quite a bit, quite a bit within the nine eight seven, <laughs> but never mind. Um, and about another eighty-seven pound just in Seven Elevens or buying groceries so overall total spend on food it worked out about 18 pounds a day which is just ridiculously low for two of us uh we budgeted for about 30 and even thought that might be too low so uh, I i think in well mainly that's due to the fact we ate an awful lot of street food we just loved the street food in all three countries uh the whole time in cm week we apart from one or two exceptions we ate down by the river in the sort of little stalls along the river there just sitting on the stupidly small plastic chairs they were lovely i don't know what you've got a problem it's with. all right they for were... teachers who are used to it but yeah for the rest of us who aren't used to having our knees around our ears when we're eating it took a bit of getting used to but the food was superb and made it worth it, it so was really good and, and in Battambang, it was really good along yep. the river there yeah, as well yeah that was lovely as well and also sitting if you're on rambuti road in bangkok and uh, there is a massage place halfway along and a really nice little bar with oh, music local, live yeah. music just opposite there is a very, very nice lady with a nice bar who lets you eat street food whilst you have your yeah. beer there so yeah. definitely recommend yeah. that spent our last but evening there we did yes. it was very good yeah that's our favorite restaurant oh, it's got to be urban tree house in cm reap um we've been there four or five years ago i'll probably be correct on the time scale but about four or five years ago it was yeah. about five years um, ago. and actually i had our wedding anniversary while we were there so we went to that restaurant booked it it was number one on TripAdvisor at the time uh, and by pure coincidence the Ladiar hotel that we stayed in was on the same road and about 200 yards away so we had a couple of a couple of really good meals in there again this time so highly recommend the urban treehouse restaurant yeah. even if, if we did in go, in, go in and say have we been here have we, have we <laughs> looks here? familiar had yeah. to look at the photo to check <laughs> but we had been there and it was really lovely worst, worst? Oh, I it well. I think it's Battambang with the chicken feet. <laughs> we had a fabulous day out in Battambang with our tuk tuk driver. Really great day. Couldn't bother going out again. So there was a little tiny restaurant because we were staying slightly out um, of the main main part of town, and uh, they didn't speak very good English. We obviously spent no Cambodia, Cambodia, no, no Khmer. So yeah. um, we thought with Google Translate that we were ordering chicken rice. And I was having chicken and noodles. And my, my chicken and rice turned up. And it was chicken and rice. But the only bit of chicken I got was the feet. So that's so, interesting. Yeah. I mean, yeah, which which are okay. But there's just not a lot of meat on them. And Jan was looking up on Google. So you're meant to bite just above the knuckle of the of the toes and then suck the meat off. We so did. I was... So I was trying that, and then, and then not until I'd finished did she tell me, oh, you've got to make sure they're taking the toenails <laughs> off first. So, yeah. That was very funny. Mm, lovely. 
and mine just looked and like it wasn't very nice. cauliflower that had been in the sea. Yeah. It was like seaweed yeah. colour. I don't know. Not an amazing meal no. te um, taste-wise, um, but the ambience and the lovely man was, was so great. nice and yeah. he couldn't do enough for us. You couldn't, he was, yeah, he was it so, was completely He was so proud when he brought the chicken he feet was. out. It's like, you had to make it's out. Good. It's good. It is a delicacy. It's chicken no, feet. It's fine. It's just does. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a thing about feet, chicken feet. It's yes. fine. So, but no, that, over, overall, the food across the whole 13 weeks, phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And stomachs were pretty much okay. Yeah. Yeah. Street food, Lost a load scared. of weight. Don't be scared of the tree, of the street Put it back food. on now. Yeah. So, so no, excellent. So apart from uh, sleeping and eating, we obviously did go off and do some sightseeing and some activities as well. And we spent uh, £599 to be exact on those activities. <laughs> About 600 <laughs> <laughs> So that included all our killing fields, um, S21, Palace in Bangkok, uh, the Elephant Safari, all the entrances to national parks, uh, oh, yeah. as well as the... Buggy Hire. Buggy Hire. And Jiang. a big chunk of that was that we did our seven day pass for Angkor Wat, yeah. which ended up being, I think, it's £145 for the yeah. both Plus, of us. we had a, a tuk tuk one day and a tuk tuk and a guide another day. So yeah. that, that does add up. Yeah. So, but obviously, you don't want to go all these this way and not see anything. No. So, actually, I think that's much lower than mm, yeah. I would have thought. It was much lower, than, is much lower than we budgeted. Yeah. So, all really good. You got to do those things. <sighs> I don't know. I think my favourite thing is probably uh, seeing Reap and going off in the sweltering heat on the bikes. I love that. Exploring Just going, ourselves. Yeah. Exploring ourselves on the bikes. Uh, yes, we didn't learn as much as with the with the guides, but the, something about the freedom and the, the yeah. cycling. and. Well, and we, met, we got to go to ruins that we were the only people there. So you'd cycle you'd be cycling along you'd see a little sign off to one of the lesser known ruins you'd go down there and you'd literally be the only people at that ruin apart from maybe a, a board security guard yeah and that that was pretty magical just being the only person in one of those and one of those we did was when we were on the moped and it was just coming up to sunset and we had oh, the whole place to ourselves that and that was amazing. incredible That's quite, yeah. so if, if you've got the luxury of the amount of time we had in in cm reap i'd certainly advise doing that for a couple of days, go off on a bike or a moped and explore the more remote temples and, and mm -hmm. have, have that experience with them less crowded, if not on your own. Worst bit, I reckon, was I the think my, my, my favourite, yeah. Oh, go on then. The rats. The rats at CM Reap. Got to go to a Popo Rats. I loved that. It was um, only about an hour, but just incredible the way they... Wearing the T-shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wearing the T-shirt. Saving lives. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they, they were incredible the way they train the rats, the way they use them to find the mines, the fact they haven't lost a single one in the whole process. So yeah, if you get a chance to go and see the rats in CM Reap, do it. Worst bit was the elephant safari. Because I couldn't see the elephants. They were too far away. There you go. They I know they've got to be far away, and I know that's how it was far away, and I know it was, it's, it was, it's what yeah, you get when you go. Danger, you know you're not going to... That's the danger. We're going to a completely but, ethical one where they are genuinely wild. You may not see them at all, or they may be a long way away. Some people get to see them close up there, but it's yeah. it's better than them being chained up or... I totally agree. So. With the, if yeah. you had to pick a worst, that was the worst. Oh, okay. Wouldn't have been my worst. Don't know what my worst was. Yeah, another yeah. temple. Probably, probably one yeah. of the many temples. Yeah. yeah, one I'd had one temple too many without an ice cream. Yeah. After all those activities and all that cycling and walking about, we did need quite a few massages just to keep our bodies up to it. <laughs> so <laughs> we, we probably budgeted to have two a week, and that's probably about what we had overall. So we spent £265 on, on massages. We, we do love the Thai massages. They're always... We don't have a Thai massage. We, well, have an, we have okay, a, sorry, a the massages, oil massage okay, by Thai people. Yes, okay. we, do, we don't have a Thai massage because we're too much of a worse because yeah. they always hurt. Well, yeah. they hurt us anyway. Yeah. So the, we didn't have a Thai massage or a Lao okay. massage. All right. We had, we had the, oil the massages oil in massage. Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. Yeah. But they were, all, they were all pretty good. We had a couple of dodgy ones and one where you got attacked by fleas. But. Oh, I did. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh, yes, in that, that was in Luan Prabang. It but was. we had another good one there. No, that one I did get bitten by fleas yeah. while, whilst they were yeah. doing it. That was not so good. But no, over, overall, very good. And to be honest, it's, it's fairly easy to avoid the, um, 
the less salubrious ones where you may get more than just a massage. You um, get offered that every time I'm not with you. Well, that's because you're on, yeah, if I'm a yeah. man on their own, they're going well, to Well, the last it, but... one you got offered it when I was with you. Well, that's true. That's, so... But generally, if you pick the older, <laughs> more experienced looking masseurs, they don't, they, they tend to be there just to give you a massage rather than Anything any of the else. extras. So, yes. um, all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just need me to protect you. I do, yeah. I do. Walking down yeah. any of the red light districts. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so, yeah, massages, highly recommend them in, in all three. And so cheap because yeah. you will pay sixty pounds at the very least for a cheap massage in the UK. Yeah, and we had a yeah. lot. Yeah, and I think the most expensive we paid was probably about twelve pounds. Yeah, yeah. So, so worth worth exploring and having a go if you haven't tried them before. As you know, if you've been paying attention, our budget <laughs> was ten thousand pounds for the thirteen weeks all in. Drum roll! What did we spend? <laughs> Eight thousand one hundred and ten pounds. So we were way under budget. Yeah. Uh, and as you've, as you've heard, as we've gone through kind of category by category, uh, in the main, that's um, come from way less spend on food than we expected, uh, probably a bit less on the activities and that side of things. Yeah. And also just some of the other kind of fees and charges we've probably budgeted a bit more for than we actually spent. So could have, could have done it cheaper if we wanted. Um you could have, we could have cut back on some of the activities, on the, some of the massages, could have had a few places where there were options for cheaper hotels still. There were still options, but we prefer just a three-star hotel and, yeah. and mostly they were lovely. We didn't yeah. really have any problems, but yeah. we, ended, we probably had too much beer. Um, no such thing. We probably had too many massages. No such thing. Um, we didn't go in enough temples. Too many. Uh, <laughs> but other than that... No, we were really pleased with the budget. Mm -hmm. The really annoying part of the budget is we would have been under 800. 8,000. Oh, sorry, 8,000, except that we got a taxi back from Heathrow because it just didn't work with family picking us up and, and getting the uh, oxygen tube. And it cost us £140 for the most terrifying ride that we had had <laughs> through our whole 13 weeks away, yeah. which... Really was a shame. After, yeah, after paying the prices you pay for transport across the whole of Southeast Asia, that does always great when you get home and all of a sudden you get, well, what feels like ripped off. I know it's not, it's just the prices. I, I wouldn't have mind the £140 if I'd felt safe in the car. Yeah, well, the driver, so, the driver did look like he was going to fall asleep. He did. <laughs> so there <laughs> so, we are. So it would have been that. But yeah, I mean, I, I think, yeah, I mean, we, we could have done it for seven. You could easily have spent nine or ten. You could have spent just, 15. Well, easily, yeah. It just depends how you want to do it, but... Actually, we, we did it as we wanted. We didn't skimp on anything. So worked out really well and a couple of thousand less than we expected. So to head even better. The next one. Yeah. To head, and as you can see in the background, it is now horrendous weather here. So we have now booked our, booked our next trip. So we'll put a, put a video on shortly in terms of um, what that's going to be. But it is now... Less no two weeks tomorrow. We two weeks tomorrow. Two weeks tomorrow. We start our next trip. So have to subscribe, come back. subscribe, and uh, have a look to to see what that's going to be because it's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, you are. I'm yeah. like a kid. I know. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching, and hope you found it helpful. And please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks very much. <laughs>